There were layoffs yesterday at America's largest veterans charity. Wounded Warrior Project cut the executive staff by 50 percent. It is one of several changes outlined by the new CEO. His predecessor was forced out after a CBS News investigation that raised questions about how the charity was spending millions in donations. Here's Chip Reed. I'll be damned if you're going to take hardworking Americans money and drink it and waste it. Iraq War veteran Eric Millette quit his job with Wounded Warrior Project, denouncing what he saw as lavish spending on staff parties and executive salaries. It was extremely extravagant. Um, dinners and alcohol. Other former employees were so fearful of retaliation they asked us not to show their faces. A lot of the warriors that I saw needed mental health treatment. They don't get that from Wounded Warrior Project. After an internal investigation, the board of directors fired CEO Stephen Nardizi, who had made flamboyant entrances at staff parties for focusing too much on fundraising rather than veterans' programs. I'm very lucky and honored to be here. Six weeks ago, Lieutenant General Michael Linnington, who fought in Afghanistan and Iraq, became CEO, and this week on CBS This Morning announced a series of changes and promised transparency. What I'm doing today is uh, pledging to everyone my best efforts, our best efforts to squeeze every nickel of every donor dollar. Wounded Warrior Project says it has also banned extravagant staff parties and will increase investments in mental health care. We're doubling down on those efforts because indeed that need is great and growing. Donations to Wounded Warrior Project have reportedly been down significantly ever since we exposed their extravagant spending. Now, Maurice, the new management hopes the changes they're making will help convince the public that they are back on track. Chip Reed in Washington, and we want to note that an executive of CBS Corporation sits on the board of Wounded Warrior Project.